the loyal citizen of India. The city was very tense. From every nook and corner, there were reports of violence among people of different communities. This was the condition of the Indian capital, New Delhi, in the year 1946-1947. Some of the Hindu residents of Jamia Millia Islamia, which was mainly a Muslim-dominant area, feared the worst. At times like this, a Hindu lady meets the head of Jamia, who was a Muslim man. We may be attacked, for God's sake save us, the lady in charge of the ashram told the Muslim man. Don't worry, there is no danger from this side, the Muslim man said. Please protect the girls and the ashram, the lady in charge said again. Neither do I have police nor the army to send for the protection of the ashram, the Muslim man consoled the lady. The lady was not ready to listen to any assurances. She again said, there are riots in the city, neighbors are fighting with neighbors and there is hatred everywhere. At such a crucial time, my ashram will be an easy target. People will come and destroy it. Don't worry, nothing of the sort will ever happen. I know your ashram is surrounded by the people of my community, but no one will destroy it, the Muslim man reassured. The woman started crying and said, I fear for the safety of the girls in the ashram. On hearing this, the Muslim man said, Here are my two daughters. Take them with you. As long as you feel the danger, my girls will be with you. God forbid, if anything happens, the same fate will be of my girls as that of the other ashram girls. These words worked like magic. The woman stopped crying and said, Now I am satisfied that there is no danger to the ashram. So this man who showed his loyalty towards his fellow countrymen and was ready to send his daughters in danger was none other than the third president of India, Dr. Zakir Hussain. Zakir Hussain was born on 8 February 1897 in Hyderabad, India in a middle class family. His father and mother passed away when he was very young, leaving young Zakir to complete his education from the Islamic high school in Ottawa. For higher studies, he joined Mohammedan Anglo Oriental College. This college was in Aligarh, which later became a university known as Aligarh Muslim University. Thereafter, he went to Germany to complete his PhD in economics. He was a follower of Gandhian ideology. Gandhiji also entrusted to him the task of developing a good educational policy for Indian schools and colleges. Dr. Zakir Hussain founded Jamia Millia Islamia. He was merely 23 years old when he established this institution. He slowly and steadily climbed up the social ladder as an educationalist. He held many important positions. He became the vice chancellor of Aligarh Muslim University. He was made the governor of Bihar, vice president of India, and then he held the highest honor of being the first citizen of India, the president of India. Dr. Zakir Hussain was known for his educational interest, intelligence and good temper. He always met people with a smiling face. He was very kind-hearted and never discriminated among people of different communities. Dr. Zakir Hussain was honored with the Bharat Ratna, the highest civilian award in 1963.